It's now time for our story time. Chapter 12, 
Paul talks about the followers of Christ are to compete in a race of faith. And he's urging them that he doesn't want them to give up before the race is done. Paul writes, let us strip off every weight that slows us down, especially the sin that so easily trips us up. And let us run with endurance the race that God has set before us. We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith because of the joy awaiting him. He endured the cross, disregarding the shame, and now he is seated on the throne next to God. Right? So imagine you have this foot race. And this foot race is a, a, a lifetime marathon. It's not what you would call a sprint. It's a marathon, something you have to stick to. Now, you have to stay the course even when there's difficult or trying times. Because, and do that, you're going to trust Jesus. And you have to race with the certainty that we will be rewarded at the end of the race. Now, that backpack that y'all decided you didn't want to carry, that backpack may have sin in it like hate. We don't want to hate. We don't want to be angry at somebody that maybe did something wrong. Um, maybe we forgot to forgive somebody for something we did to us. Oh, and maybe we're gossips. You know what gossips are? They're people that try to build themselves up by putting other people down. Maybe you're disrespectful to your parents because you're supposed to honor your parents. Or maybe that backpack has something in it that distracts you from your focus. So the Bible tells us that we should throw off all the things that cause us to lose focus because at the end of the race, there is a reward of a heavenly home forever and ever. Right? Okay. Let's pray. Our precious Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for these precious children. And Lord, we thank you for the parents that are guiding them and teaching your, your, your word. Lord, may everything we do and say reflect your character, Lord. So may we may endure to the end forever with you.